Welcome to Tiny Bites. Today we're going to learn how to make Zoom polls. We're going to make them, share them, and save the results. Hi everybody, for this tutorial we're going to learn how to make a Zoom poll. That's inside of Zoom. I'm assuming for the purposes of this tutorial that you're doing it from your own Zoom account, but if you borrowed a Zoom classroom from Leadership Development, you will email us your poll questions and we'll get that set up for you when we set up your classroom space and then you would log in with your host key. So it's a little different for you, but it should feel familiar once you're inside the meeting. But for those of you setting up on your own, come to zoom.com, you'll see the website. Up in the corner, in the upper right, you'll see the sign in. Go ahead and click on it. And you would have to fill it in with whatever it is you use. In my case, it's leadership development at orlandouu.org. So you would put yours and you would put in your password. We'll go ahead and sign in. If it doesn't automatically come up, Go ahead and click on the meetings button from the left menu bar and it will show the list of all the meetings you have scheduled so far. If you're making a brand new meeting, you would schedule the meeting by clicking this button, schedule a meeting, and it's sort of in the upper right. It will bring up the details and you would just fill it in like you normally would. Let's just call this my meeting and accept it how it is right now so we can show you what it looks like. We'll hit save. All right, so there, I made a meeting. Notice down here at the bottom, it says we have not created any polls. That's what you're gonna be looking for, this add button off to the side. When we click on it, it'll open up and it will ask us what it is that we want to talk about. So maybe we want to talk about toppings for the pancake breakfast, and we're gonna ask the attendees, what toppings should we have for the pancakes? And then you can choose from single choice or multiple choice. In this case, I'm going to click on multiple choice because we're talking about various things that we could put on the pancakes. We could put maple syrup on the pancakes. We could put honey on the pancakes. Oops, a little bit of a typo. That's all right. And we can put whipped cream on the pancakes. I like whipped cream. Once you're done filling it in, whatever your question happens to be, go ahead and click the save button. It will save it. And down here at the bottom of your detailed panel for your meeting, notice how now it's you have created one poll for this meeting. You see it highlighted here in gray. Off to the side, you could edit it, you could delete it. You could go ahead and add another poll if you wanted to. This time, maybe we want to talk about juice. What juice shall we have? And again, multiple choice. Maybe we want to have orange juice. Maybe we want to have grape juice. Maybe we want to have apple. We'll ask the guests and then they can tell us what sort of juice will we have at the pancake breakfast. Again, you would click save. And then down here at the bottom, you'll see how it popped up, poll number two. If you click on this little carrot, you see how it opens up to details. So what does it look like when you are the host and you're ready to share those polls? Well, first you have to start the meeting. In this case, I'm going to uh, hover my mouse over the meeting. You can see it here, LD test meeting. You can slide over and click the start button to start the meeting. The other way you could do it is click on the title of the meeting to go into its more detailed view. You'll see the start this meeting button in the upper right. So let's go ahead and start it. We'll ask if you really want to open that Zoom application, we're going to say yes. It'll ask if we want to join with computer audio, we're going to say yes. All right, so here we are at the Zoom meeting. If you are on a desktop or a laptop, you wiggle your mouse close to the bottom, you'll see the main menu bar appear. Notice how we have a new button called polling. If we click on this button, our poll will come out. It'll start with poll number one. If you had more than one poll, you see this sort of little V caret next to the edit pencil. If you click on that, it'll show your list of what polls. You don't have to show them in order. You can show them in any order that you like. But let's go ahead and start with poll number one. When you're ready to show it to your guests, 
come down to the bottom and say launch poll. Go ahead and click on that button. Notice how your poll changed. Now you have this green sort of timer bar showing you, the host, how long this poll has been open. So you give your guests time to answer it. As they answer it, this black bar will change. Right now we're in a meeting that's pretend there's no guests here. But if there were guests polling um, and they were answering the questions, you would see this update. Once you've given all your guests time to answer your question, you can come down to the bottom and hit end poll. From here, you could just stop. You could relaunch it if you messed up somehow and you want to do it again. But remember, if you relaunch it, it erases the old results. So you may want to be careful. If you want to give them the next poll, come up here to the little carrot. And from the pull down menu, now you can pick poll number two. We're going to talk about juice now. And then you see the options for the juice listed there. To actually give it to the guests, you do have to hit the launch poll button again. So let's click it. And then you see the timer bar. It turned green. You see that the guests are busy answering it, and you can see the elapsed time so you know that you've given them enough time to answer the question. When you're ready to end it, you can end the poll. You could share the results if there were results. Go ahead and click on it. Well, nobody voted at the pretend meeting, but that's what the poll would show. It, if there had been people voting, it would show so many voted orange, so many voted grape, so many show, vote, wanted apple juice at the pancake brunch. Um, you can click on stop the sharing to stop sharing these results. And then you can close this poll window by clicking the red X. Before you close, though, if you wanted to take a screenshot of your poll results while you're sharing it with the guests, you can do that. But let me show you another way you could retrieve your poll results. So you have finished with your meeting and now you want to download your reports. You'd have to come over here to the gray bar of menu choices. You'd click on account management. Then you would scroll down to reports and click on that. Once you're in the report dashboard, come on down to meeting, view registration reports and poll reports for the meeting. Go ahead and click on that. It gives you a list of the most recent meetings and it'll ask you, do you want a registration report over here under report type? Or do you want a poll report? If you were interested in getting the results from the polls, you can click on poll report. And then you slide down to the meeting that you were talking about. We were just in the LD test meeting, so I'm going to check that. And then I would click on generate. And it would ask me, you know, do I want it from everybody? Just the approved registrants or the nine registrants? I'm going to say from everybody. Just give me everybody's stuff. You wait a minute for it to generate. And then you just go ahead and click on download for the one that you wanted. And you'll see it downloaded in the bottom as a CSV file. You can open it in numbers on a Mac or you can open it on your spreadsheet program on a PC. And that's how you would get your results. It does require you to be the owner of the Zoom account. So if you are borrowing a digital classroom uh, to have your Zoom event from leadership development, it'll be a lot quicker for you to just take a screenshot while you're in the meeting uh, polling your guests. So hooray, now you've learned how to make your own Zoom polls for your online events.